All right, guys, it's official. Human hair boho braids aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And they are getting bigger and fuller and longer by the day. However, y'all know this look does not come fast and it does not come cheap. So you know I got you. Not only do we have a crochet method now available, I'm gonna put a little spin on it with the flip over Fulani style. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look in under four hours, make sure you stay tuned. The hair we're working with today is brought to us by Eon Hair. They sent me six bundles of their 24 inch pre-looped crochet box braids. The braids themselves are synthetic, but have double drawn Burmese human hair curls fed throughout each braid and on the ends. The hair is feathery soft and lightweight, and don't worry about the length because not only can you cut it, it also comes in 14 inches, 18 inches, and 30 inches. The curls are very secure and neat, Shipping was very fast, and because they're crochet, you can reuse these with proper care, so definitely worth the investment. The color I have is 1B, and there are about 20 strands per bundle, making this a grand total of 120 strands, which is more than enough. Braids like this would take me about six to eight hours to complete on a client, so right out the gate, we've already cut our time in half. Jumping into this install, as with any protective style, I'm starting with my scalp nice and clean, deep conditioned and blow dried hair. I wasn't sure which direction I was going to go with this, so I started with the design in the front, so I parted off the front from the back. And now with Fulani style, this does require you to know how to cornrow. However, this is just an option. I did, y'all know me, I did contemplate just doing some crisscross rubber band sections in the front, but I have been wanting to try this for a while, so I did a combo of a few things. And quick disclaimer, corn rowing your own hair neatly is not for the weak at heart. It is not the easiest thing to do. So can I do a much better job on a client? Absolutely. Will I waste time cramping up my arms above my head? Absolutely not. So take that for what you will. And another side note, you will need some kind of braid gel for parting and control. I do recommend choosing one on the thicker side. The one you see me using here is from the Braided Beauty Collection, which I am hoping to launch this month. I am super excited about it, and I know it's just going to change the game for braiders. But anyways, for the individuals on the side and the top, I did the individual crochet method. I parted out the boxes I wanted, and for each box, I split that section in half. Then I crocheted the braid onto one section, then gathered the two sections of my natural hair together and rubber banded it together. If you have thick hair and a good grip game, you can braid it down. However, my hair is just way too fine to hold this braid up, so rubber banding it is my choice in this case. Then once that's secure, I'm simply going to crochet my hair down the length of the braid. Another option instead of doing this step is to just cornrow that section and just apply the braids as you normally would and just let them hang. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. It's a free standing braid and I was able to fit two on this side. And I basically just did the exact same thing on the other side. For the actual cornrows, I unfortunately did not have the right color braiding hair on hand and I was not trying to go out in the rain looking for any. So I used this one that I had on hand and I didn't use it to feed in the actual cornrows. I used the hair to feed in the length in the back. So you see I am just cornrowing my hair and then I'm feeding the curly hair in at the ends. And this actually ended up working out better than doing braiding hair because it blended in very well with the boho crochet. But of course you can still use regular braiding hair to get the braids that you desire. And you can braid it all the way down um, or you can braid it down to a certain point and do water dip curls to help it blend in better as well. And yeah, all I did was just braid this down and then I got to the end of my natural hair and then I just tied it off. Thank you. 
So for that side, I just did two more braids and then I did the individuals that came across on the side. And when I got to the back, my hair was thicker than the front. So I just twisted it down so that it would uh, be more compressed and easier to crochet through the individual braid. Not gonna lie, by this time I was having second thoughts about completing this task because it did take me an hour to get through that one side. But nevertheless, I persevered and I just did the exact same thing on the other side and started on the middle. I am now on the last braid and here is where things get a little bit more trickier. I've been wanting to try this for a while. So I picked up some of these gold rings from the beauty supply store and all I did was just separate my hair into five sections and placed each ring on each section. And then I proceeded to just cornrow the sections down. Yes, I could have took the rings apart, but that would have been more of a task. And I wanted them to lay very flat on this cornrow. So I did it this way so that I could get the look that I was going for. I also like the rings as well because I can attach other charms to them. So yeah, I thought that was a nice, I really love hair jewelry if y'all haven't figured that out by now i love it i have a whole stash of it and i'm always finding ways to try and incorporate it into my looks so yeah that's what i did with the final braid and i think it came out cute i don't know what y'all think so another option that you can do instead of doing the individuals in the front like you see me doing here like adding the hair in is instead of doing individuals you can go ahead and just cornrow your hair all the way back because remember we're going to be crocheting the rest of this hair in the back so it's totally up to you i went this way because i wanted it to lay flatter and i'm going to show you a trick on how i make it lay flatter with the base in the back but here is how the front is looking. And I think it came out pretty doggone good. I definitely got the look that I was going for. The front section literally took me about two and a half, three hours. And that's really because I'm doing it on myself. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was symmetrical and I did take a couple of breaks. So if I was doing this on a client, I'm telling you it might take me uh, two, two and a half hours. So yeah, bring us the hair, we can install it for you, no problem. Now for the foundation in the back, I opted to do cornrows going straight back as much as possible. I like this method when doing crochet braids because they lay flatter. And to get them to lay even more flatter, I inserted a braid at the top of each cornrow. That way there wouldn't be a crocheted loop at the top. I will caution you to use some level of care when crocheting this hair in the back but simply because there is human hair boho pieces on it and it will be prone to tangling and snagging. So just make sure that you are carefully grabbing each braid at the top and pulling it through as opposed to the bottom because the more you manipulate it the more frizzy it will get. And there you have it, the completed look. I am five foot one, so 24 inches is quite a lot on my small frame. So I am glad that I opted for the tribal style. The hair is not heavy at all. I just think I'm getting to the age where I don't want a lot of hair in my face and I just be getting hot for real though. I love the versatility of the styling and the curls are really just giving. This is definitely a vacation ready style for a fraction of the cost. Not to mention a fraction of the time. The last set of boho braids I did on myself, y'all, took 12 hours and two days. So four hours or less is okay with me, along with an easier takedown. And I know you guys wanna know that I use all six bundles. I did not. I only used four with two to spare. So yes, six is more than enough for a full head. This is human hair, so it will require more attention to it on your part, especially if you want to reuse it. To maintain this hair, I would stay away from putting in heavy products like conditioners, and I would stick to spray-in leave-ins or just water by itself, and lightly coating your hands in an oil to finger comb it. To sleep, I simply tuck everything into my bonnet at night, and then in the morning, I finger comb it out. You will want to be careful of wearing clothing or sweaters that may cause frizz in the hair and tangling and if you plan on getting it wet finger comb it and let it air dry as always if you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend 
or even with your braider. I know you booked that vacation, girl, so don't forget to book that hair appointment. Special thanks to Eon Hair for sponsoring today's video. All of the details you need to know can be found in the description box below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out for more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.